Hello, my name's Miles, and this is... The name's Fox. Spy Fox. Welcome to Cheese Chase. Are you ready for some exciting spy action? Press this button to start at the beginning. Press this button to continue an old game. You can even make and play your own levels. Press this button to build new levels. Press this button to change your levels. Press this button to play your customized levels. Have fun. Do you want to sign in? Um, as I was saying, this is Miles and this is Steam Graveyard. So today's game is Spy Fox in Cheese Chase. Yes. And yeah, that was that was Spy Fox interrupting me from at the very beginning. So that's great. That's a really good start. So this button to start at the beginning. Yeah. Press this button uh, to oh, continue an old game. Oh wow, can I can't make an... Couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> okay, so this is another game on Steam that not a lot of people have heard of. Not a lot of people have played and now this one I will say I think it's a it is an older game that was re-released on Steam I, I think uh, as far as I know this is a, a spin-off of a game that had to come out many years ago uh, I guess uh, point-and-click games for kids called Spy Fox So this is a spin-off, and I, I didn't know that at the time. I was just looking through, you know, pictures of games that, you know, like I said, I've never heard of. And this popped up, and it looked particularly bad. So I thought, ah, th this will be <laughs> an entertaining video. But yeah, so far it actually looks pretty competent. Ready to play? You can select a level to start. The down button takes... Yeah, well, he's a little annoying though. But, uh, yeah, sure, let's give this a go. Now, I'm assuming this is, you know, like a bunch of different mini-games. Uh, it isn't an actual point-and-click adventure like the originals. So... Oh, wow, he Red just pops button. straight back there. Okay, so let's let's go. Um, nice and colorful. I like the animation. It really is like the old, you know, style kind of point and click games. You know, Lucas Arts. This is actually running on uh, Scum VM, I think it is. So yeah, level one. Let's go. Okay, so let's. <laughs> Oh dear. Wait, what? Hold on. Let's try that again. Wait a minute. Okay, this isn't... The controls aren't working. Not... Am I dead? Okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's restart. All right. I can't go until you enter a name. What? There you go. And why wouldn't let me use the other one? Okay. Let's try this again. Gotta get, you know, at least three seconds in. Okay, okay, the mouse works. The keyboard doesn't work at all. Okay, so... Yeah. It's his fox. On a motorcycle, drive around, left in cheese, and gas. <sighs> I'm not fond of it yet. I mean, maybe it'll, it'll pick up later. Hey, that, you couldn't even get that one. Are these just randomly placed? Okay, so you know, pick up cheese. I can't see where the what the cheese is doing. Okay, well, level two, I guess. Okay. Ease and gas. That's what you want. One you want to pick up. 
It's just like real life, you know? Go get some gas and cheese. As a fox. Yeah, this is... this is not fun. It's just... It's like a flash game, you know? I don't know why it keeps spinning out. I'm... I'm not... doing anything. He just randomly does that. Like, if I try to go left and right, you know, hard turns, he doesn't do it. If I stay still... Okay, well, he's... he's not doing it if I stay still either. Yeah, that's weird. I guess level 3. I'm assuming that, like, level 5 or something, it changes up. Because this isn't very good. Just monotonous and... It's just not fun. So yeah, not a lot of people have heard about this. From the, the very few reviews... Whoa! Being a bike. From the few reviews, the Spy Fox games are, apart from this one, are pretty well known. Or at least a lot of people... Some people grew up with them and they're fondly remembered as kids' point-and-click games. But this one... I guess not a lot of kids had. You know, it, it's... Uh, this game's not great. I mean, maybe the other ones are okay, but... Oh, stinky cheese now, okay. I guess they're bad? Okay. <laughs> the sound effect's kind of funny, though. Not those ones. Come on, give me an ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, but it's still just, you know... You know, it's a bit like... Oh, another one of these. It's a bit like the, uh, the really poor driving sections. Or, not driving, but uh, skateboarding sections in Back to the Future. For the NES. You know, where you just... But, but then... Even that had more obstacles. I don't know. I like the animation and everything, and the whole look of the menu screen, but... Yeah. It, it, the, the actual game is just sort of cut-and-paste graphics. It's not that nice. Yeah. You know what it actually reminds me of? There used to be these games, they, they weren't even video games, but they were handheld gaming systems where there wasn't an L LCD screen. Uh, I, I think they were battery operated, but I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 that must have been. But they were kind of like this, where it was just a street and this, it, it was like a roll of paper and on the paper, you know, there was the image of a street, and you've got this this little plastic uh, pointer that was in the shape of a car that sat at the bottom, and you just control the pointer. So as the as the car as the as the road would kind of cycle around this this spindle, uh, you know, it would zig left and right and left and right, and it was only you know like there was like five seconds of road. But you would use the the knob uh, to physically turn this car, you know, left and right. Oh, Ready to play? please stop interrupting me, Mr. Fox. So, yeah, so so you would be driving down this road and just like drive left and right, but it was all mechanical, and I think there was maybe like a little backlight on, probably the spindle. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Like, pre-game, pre-video game technology. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm actually starting to worry that this is the only actual game. Like, like this is the game? This isn't just one of the many mini-games? I'll have to... 
I'll have to check after this. I'll, I'll go back in the main menu and be interrupted. And then after that, I'll... I'll see if there's anything else to this. Oh man, that would suck if this is... This is all there is. This is because this is not fun. I, I'm not having a good time. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Um, you can't interact with anything either. I mean, these Scum VM games, LucasArts and all those, you could interact with like, loads of stuff in the environment. Okay, let's see if there's a different version or something. Uh, play custom levels. So, this is... Oh, this is like, make your own level, I guess? But it's for the same game mode. No, I don't like that. Change custom levels. Oh, this is the whole game, isn't it? It's just driving! <laughs> that's, that's my level. Oh, that's a shame. I was okay to reset this level. Uh, yes, of course. Oh wow, that. Press this button to start it. Yeah, this I didn't enjoy that. This is not a good game. <laughs> wow, I really thought that there was more to it than this. It's just those driving sections. And I don't think there is a whole lot of levels either. Go any lower. <laughs> oh, I know, buddy. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. It's just... That driving section is just repeated and with very little. Even in the custom customization thing, it, it showed very little obstacles and things that we haven't seen already, so... Yeah. Well... That's it for Steam Graveyard. <laughs> Ready to play? Not anymore. So that's it again for another Steam Graveyard. If you liked it, then please like it. <laughs> uh, subscribe, comment. If you didn't like it, please inform me of what you didn't enjoy about it so that I can better my work. This has been Spy Fox. Goodbye. <laughs>